Welcome back to Unfiltered. The number of international travelers to Canada has declined by 20% since 2000. According to the latest report by Deloitte and Touche, the tourism industry is struggling to compete in a global travel environment that is constantly changing. Premier destinations in Canada like the Rockies and Niagara Falls continue to draw tourists. But the report says tourism potential has gone unrecognized by governments and businesses alike. Ian Robertson is with the Tourism Industry Association of British Columbia. He joins us now from our downtown Vancouver studio. Ian, how are you? I'm well, Aaron. Good to speak with you again. Good to speak with you as well. This report covered all of Canada. Talk to us a little bit about BC. Are we seeing a drop in tourism here? Well, if you look at the numbers, uh, while tourism revenues are up uh, significantly over the last 10 years, we continue to see a decline in international visitors to British Columbia, similar to what uh, the Deloitte uh, report highlighted. Uh, we in British Columbia have benefited uh, with increases mainly from uh, travel within Canada and uh, also uh, increased in uh, international travel from countries like China and uh, Mexico. What more can be done to market the province? Is enough being invested in BC from a federal level? Well, certainly uh, you've got uh, the Canadian Tourism Commission uh, that, uh, that, that funds and, and markets uh, Canada internationally. And uh, the report also highlighted that uh, Canada, in terms of a world travel destination, uh, has fallen from number two spot in 1970 uh, to uh, 18th spot in uh, 2012. So as, uh, as more countries compete on the uh, tourism sector, uh, Canada is losing ground. Uh, within British Columbia, uh, certainly the Olympics have helped us uh, uh, with, uh, with increasing the revenues over the last couple of years and uh, tourism is bouncing back, but more can be done, uh, certainly more that can be done and we need to look at tourism uh, as an investment, not just as funding the industry, but, uh, but investing in the industry. It generates over $14 billion a year, employs uh, well over 130,000 people annually and uh, has, you know, contributes and helps uh, over 18,000 businesses in British Columbia. So it plays a big role in, uh, in British Columbia's economy. It's expensive to travel internationally and domestically too. Do you think that's a deterrent? Well, we hear that uh, from our members, uh, the associations and the businesses that we represent, that while it seems that uh, traveling internationally uh, looks like it's becoming a little more affordable, certainly traveling within Canada uh, is always a challenge. But to that point, uh, British Columbia has seen, uh, has benefited from uh, overnight uh, visitors from uh, the balance of Canada traveling into British Columbia. Are you pushing the airlines for cheaper domestic fares? Well, that's always uh, a hot topic. Uh, you know, there was, uh, there was always discussion around open skies. And, uh, you know, we work uh, with our partners in the Tourism Industry of Canada uh, to, uh, to lobby towards the federal government to always have an eye towards that. Certainly, uh, that can help. Uh, Destination British Columbia has appointed a new, their first uh, new chief executive officer. So we're very encouraged uh, that tourism is on the uh, government's agenda and that uh, you know we'll continue to work with the government and all of the associations to ensure that tourism in British Columbia is is looked as as an investment. You're talking about tourism as an investment so often governments see it as hotel jobs and restaurant jobs and, and maybe a few people uh, traveling to Whistler it, it, but it, it is an investment and are governments aware of that? Well, that's the message that we need to continue as an association working with the other associations and tourism businesses in British Columbia. We need to continue to make that point. And you've raised a very good point there, Aaron, that you know, we tend to look at tourism jobs as that individual that's uh, behind the hotel front desk. But you need to look beyond that because quite often uh, that, that business is supporting an accounting uh, department and, uh, and, and physical plant and, and, and engineers. So the, the jobs go beyond just the front line wait staff and the hotel staff, but it goes beyond just those into other uh, sectors that are very well paying. All right, I think we'll leave it there. Ian Robertson, thank you for your time tonight. You're welcome. Good to see you.